Okay, we've got the swirling beam of light that's going around around the dancer just now. What I want to do is add some lens flares to this now, some bright areas on it. To do that, I'm going to make sure that I've got layer two selected. I left click it to make sure it's selected just over at the side of the text, not on the image or the the, the mask. And then I'm going to go down to the create new layer tool at the bottom of the layers panel there and just click. This will add a new layer called layer 3. With layer 3 selected I'm now going to fill in the whole of the screen area with black. To do that I'll go over to the tools and I want to choose the paint pot tool. It may be hidden under the gradient tool So if I click the gradient tool or click the paint bucket tool, a little menu comes up and I can choose the right tool there. So I've got the paint bucket tool selected. And now I want to make sure that I've got black chosen as my color. So I go to window and I choose color from the menu. And I want to double click the foreground color. That's it may be you might see it as pink or blue or whichever colors you last used for your drawing here. Um, I double click that and I want to drag right down to the bottom. Click on the color area and drag right down anywhere on the bottom and you'll notice that RGB all becomes zero and that this number sign, the hash sign here at the bottom is six zeros. So that means you've got black selected. Once I've done that, I click OK. And to fill the area in with black, I just click once on it with the left button and the whole screen goes blank. Black like that. Fantastic. I'll show you more in the next video.